Hi everyone, so as promised, here I have the Colombia vlog for you, I hope you enjoy it. So here I am saying goodbye to Haney, uh, I didn't know that this was going to be the last time I was going to be kissing him and hugging him, um, because he sadly passed away during this trip, so I am kissing him in a weird way just because I didn't want to get lipstick on his fur. Um, so it is a really cold winter day, I am just wearing a blazer because I didn't want to carry a heavy coat with me, because there was no point on doing that because I was going Going to a tropical country where the weather is better don't get me wrong i love pittsburgh i love pennsylvania especially during the fall and winter i can see the beauty in the cold in winter uh, but i was excited to be able to escape this season for at least two or three months i made it to the airport i had some issues because i didn't fill out a form that i needed to be able to enter Colombia just in time and also with my last names because I have different last names uh, in my passports and my US documents. Here I encountered this beautiful Doberman, this cute baby boy uh, that was just like greeting everyone at the airport while I was waiting to be able to board my flight, my plane. So it was so cute. The owner was really kind, uh, allowing me to take pictures and videos. Everyone was doing it as well. After many hours of traveling, I finally made it to Medellin, Colombia. It was really late. I ate and went to bed. Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog here in Colombia, in Medellin, Colombia. So um, the trip was a little bit stressful because I had a lot of issues in the airport with some documents and everything. Uh, I have all of my documents, but I have like different last names. So I had to figure that out and you know, I had a lot of trouble. So it's been a few days since I arrived here. I have tried to spend a lot of quality time with my family because I didn't see my family for three years, which is a long time. And yeah, I have been going out. I have been um, eating a lot of homemade meals that I craved so much and it's been really really nice but I thought I will just grab the camera and start a new vlog so I can take you with me to my Colombian adventures so today I am like wearing a crop top and I am like sweating because it is so hot right now and it is really loud so you'll have to excuse that because Colombia it's loud you like you have street vendors you have people playing music doggies outside and stuff like that so anyway we are going to this concert uh, my niece my sister and I uh, to this concert uh, for reggaeton singers Puerto Rican reggaeton singers I am not talking about the new reggaeton artists I am talking about the OGs like back in the 90s early 2000s this is something that you don't see like that often and they are all together tonight we made it to the local stadium which hosts a lot of soccer matches events and concerts the weather was great it didn't rain i was so thankful for that and when we were waiting in line they were giving free shots of the local drink to everyone in line here we have Wisin from Wisin and Jandel just yelling at the top of his lungs, Medellin, and the energy was amazing. I just have to say that I love the Puerto Rican accent so much. At some point, we had a huge fireworks show. This actually lasted for a while, and they were trying to keep us entertained because the uh, artists were taking way too long in between shows, presentations, so people were starting to get bored. That's why they started creating this huge wave all around the stadium by getting up from their seats and lifting up their arms whenever it was their turn it was so fun here i am singing at the top of my lungs to two of my favorite duos from this genre reggaeton and on the left we have sion lennox on the right we have wisin yandel they were amazing i wish i could actually play some clips here the actual music but i can't because of copyright issues with youtube and they will actually take my video down so i don't want to risk it and uh, i just have to say that i enjoyed my time here so much everything was great in general i loved it Hi guys, good morning, welcome uh, to the vlog. I think this is the second day of this vlog after the concert, which was amazing. I went to bed like 5 a.m., like it was that late. Uh, so I am here in Guatapé, Antioquia, Colombia. And this is like two or three hours from Medellin. This is just a really pretty town, a man-made lake that i have behind me we have a huge rock that i actually want to climb today uh, there are so many activities that we can do here 
um, I am with my family which is really nice I have been enjoying my time with them so this is really exciting I am here I actually want to show you real quick this is not even the top of the rock that I'm talking about so we have hotels we have a helicopter here this is the one that I am that I actually want to do the activity that I want to do and it will be my first time and as you can see this is the lake so 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 pretty and this is just like goes all the way around Debes retirarte el calzado. Sí, dice eso. <risa> Pero una bruja. <risa> Muy linda. All right, guys, so here you have a person who's terrified of heights and deep water attempting to ride a helicopter over water. Does that make sense? No, but I am so glad that I was able to do this and check it off the list of the things that I wanted to do in life. So here we are taking off. I was very nervous at this point, um, but everything went so smooth. All right, so as I told you, this is a man-made lake and all you can find underneath of all this water is an actual town, El Peñol, which was filled up with water on purpose and then they relocated all of the people that used to live in this town to another town nearby. We are going to visit that town a little later. All right, so I think that this is a great place to live at. The weather is cool, it's great, and uh, you can find a lot of celebrities living here. I mean, if you have the means to live here, it is great because you can enjoy the boats, the jet skis, as you can see here, it is a great place. I love this. So here you can find the rock that I was telling you about. This rock is actually over 60 million years old, which is so crazy. And on the side, you have a big staircase with over 700 steps that you can actually use to climb up all the way to the top. And at the top, you have a place for hanging out, buying food and taking pictures. It is great. Here we have the actual town El Peñol, the newest one. If you pay, atten if you pay attention to the baseboards, you can find the rock and in other houses, um, you have other things. So what that tells you is what the family used to do for a living. And here we have the little street of the umbrellas. This town is actually um, known for being one of the most colorful ones in the world, which is crazy. Here we are in enjoying a little snack before heading home. It was so nice just like having this view, the little doggy sleeping and the guy singing with a guitar. And this is something very, very interesting. When we were heading home, I noticed that there was an RV with Arizona license plate. How crazy is that? <laughs> and a few days later, I ended up going to the airport to pick up my friend from the US. I took her to this lookout of the city. This is El Poblito Paisa. Here you have a representation of what a traditional town looks like in Antioquia. And it's just so nice. You can definitely see the influence of the Basque country from Spain in our culture, especially in this region, the Paisa region. Okay, so here you have Medellin. We are surrounded by mountains. This is what it looks like. And we found this guy in a mariachi suit with a Mexican flag. So interesting. Okay, so my mom, my friend and I were heading to this island in the Caribbean, San Andres. It is next to Nicaragua, but it is Colombian territory. And we were staying there for a week. It was so fun. It actually has the shape of a seahorse, so pretty. And the first day we enjoyed the beach. We didn't do much. I ended up getting a sunburn. It was awful. <laughs> you will see it. Uh, later and you know I have a soft spot for animals especially dogs and I saw these two and many more at the beach thirsty and I just wanted to take them home so bad I'm uh, I feel so bad for these poor babies and uh, I took my mom parasailing I wanted to give her many experiences in this trip as possible because this whole trip to this island was a gift for her for her birthday so here you have this couple from Brazil they ended up getting on this thing first and I was so nervous I actually wanted to uh, see what the whole experience would look like before 
going in uh, myself. So you heard that from mom. Mom was enjoying every single second of this trip, her birthday gift, and I am so happy that I was able to do this for her because she is my queen. I love her. Here we have some Colombians, clearly Colombians, dancing salsa in public. I wanted to join them so bad. My mom also wanted to do the same thing. They are drinking in public, which is not completely legal, but it's pretty much a thing. If you're from the US, it must be a cultural shock to see this. I get it. And here we are going to have dinner on a fancy boat at night time. It was so nice. And they actually pick you up at the port and then they drive you or you ride another boat to the main one where you're going to be having dinner. Everything was so nice. People were so kind. Yes, I did it. I was riding a jet ski again my first time. I was so scared being that deep in the water and because I'm terrified of water, but I did it. I was challenging all of my fears. So the next day we went to scuba diving. Here is the instructor uh, helping me put on the vest. This, this was so heavy this weighted a ton i would say about 40 50 pounds on me and it was not helping with my sunburn situation which was mostly on my upper body my shoulders were killing me i was a little bit nervous about doing this because i am again terrified of water and i've never done this it was my first time oh i just mine i don't know oh gosh yeah yeah Shoulders. Hey. 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 You have to keep your face inside of the water, making bubbles, and don't breathe. 
through your nose, only the mouth so it doesn't get foggy. Don't you find the sound of water and bubbles so relaxing? I do, that's why I wanted to let you hear those sounds for a second. And I actually play those kind of sounds at home sometimes, especially when I'm trying to fall asleep. I find them so relaxing. So, as you can see here, there is a ton of sea life, the corals, the fish, everything was so beautiful. I don't think the camera can capture the colors, the size of everything, it was amazing. One of the best experiences I've ever had. And uh, this is something that I definitely want to repeat. Every once in a while we were stopping, going to the very bottom of the sea, just having instructions and yeah, I will definitely want to do this again. So later that day we went to Johnny Key, which is the island that I was showing you when I was on the jet ski. This island is very special. You can see that the water is amazing. It has no filter, it is that color. And it is very special. It has a ton of palm trees, a ton of iguanas, which is like so interesting, have, having them so close. And the beach is amazing. We just stayed there for not too long, but we enjoyed our times there. We ended up having some lunch, which was delicious. And later that day, about sunset time, we went to El Aquario or the aquarium and we had it all to ourselves. It was so special. Hi guys. So almost coming to the end of my trip. I kind of want to show you, I am in the aquarium here in San Andres. So that's a little island. There is the island itself. And this is just a spot like really really nice it is about like sunset time i've been having so much fun so i will tell you more about this trip maybe when i go back to medellin it's just so fun so i will keep updating you i just felt like i didn't like properly told you what was going on <laughs> different background i don't know if you noticed that i am very very dark like very i wouldn't say tan i am more like burnt and it is because like i probably caused a lot of damage to my skin which i am not happy about because just like on the second day of our stay in san andres the island i got burnt like it was painful it was i was so red like it was awful and now it's been like Mm, I'll say almost a week uh, and I'm looking like this I am already peeling a lot of my skin it doesn't look good it's not fun sometimes it is like really really painful uh, but yeah so my, my skin feels like leather like a lizard it's not fun so anyway I am um, here in Bogota the capital of Colombia because um, I came here to see my favorite band from my teenage years and uh, they're coming to Colombia after 11 years of not coming and that's amazing. So the band is Paramore, they are from Tennessee, they're from the US. I just started this vlog 
or or this day of the vlog and not i didn't do it at the airport because i was like so busy i was saying goodbye to my friend from the united states this morning she had her flight at 5 30 so we have to leave home at 2 a.m so i stayed at the at the airport the whole time because my flight was at noon so all of those hours i was at the airport it is kind of far so i didn't feel like going back and have and having to do everything again uh but uh yeah so yeah i just want to show you and i just want to take you on my adventure of three days i arrived today monday tomorrow tuesday is the concert and uh we will be leaving on wednesday so i came here with my niece and my youngest sister uh, because they also love the band this is the view that we have right now this is bogota very cloudy it's not too cold now that i have experienced like real cold like winter in the u.s i will say that this just feels like a fall day i will say and over there you have the colombian flag which is so nice Okay guys, and now I want to give you a room tour now that my sister and my niece are out because I came with them and uh, they are just exploring a little bit of the hotel because we are going to be spending the next two days here. All right, so this is, first of all, this is what I'm wearing. Um, this shirt from Ralph Lauren, really comfortable to travel with. It is like it was freezing, so I needed to create layers and layers. Uh, on top of this, I had a blade, no, uh, I had a sweater and on top of that a blazer and it was still cold like I was freezing in the in the airport at the airport sorry and I am wearing these Aritzia pants these are the effortlets in the black color my white sneakers that I love so much and of course my tote bag work bag from base I love that to travel it's been like my best friend I just love it all right so that is the entrance the closet we have a little bathroom here, nothing fancy, just what you need. A little shower, that's it. The toilet over there. And we have two double beds here. As I said, I came with my niece and my uh, little sister. And yeah, but the best part of this room is the view. The giant windows that I have here. Imagine waking up to this. I am sleeping on this side tonight. So yeah that's it uh the vacation in the island ended it was amazing i had like a very good time with my knee not with my niece with my mom and my um friend from the u.s and we had so much fun it felt like i didn't vlog enough just because i wanted to enjoy the moment i wanted to be present and of course um my mom and maybe my friend didn't want to be on camera so i just wanted to respect that um so i just took like some videos here and there like trying to avoid them or just some videos for instagram and stuff like that but not like vlogging but it, because it feels like too personal especially since we are sharing a room we were sharing a room all right guys so right now um we are going to go and eat uh because we are starving we only ate like coffee and uh, a piece of bread early in the morning we're going to go and um, have a late lunch early dinner then we are going to go to the mall see what it looks like you know malls are a thing here in Colombia and people actually like enjoy going there so we are going to do that and after that we really don't have plans tomorrow we're gonna go to the concert so that's very exciting So today is the day of, today is the concert. I am very, very excited and I'm actually like running a little bit late, which is not something new to be honest. Uh, and I am just like, I just want to get ready, go and have breakfast and then from there um, go to the concert. So right now I was like checking the time on my wrist. I don't have my watch on yet. So it's like around 9 a.m. And I have to be honest, like people are crazy about this concert today because they have been making a line 
since last night like 10 p.m and even last night there was a lot of people already which i am a big fan but i am not going to get to that point like do that much to be honest um so now well so really early this morning i think 4 30 my youngest sister which is a like super big fan she got up really early she went there she skipped breakfast and everything and she went to make a line and she was sending us pictures and everything and they told her well no there was already a lot of people there um and they are just assigning the entrance well first of all i have to tell you that we have vip tickets which is the floor in front of the concert in front of the stage sorry um so that's why we don't have like like designated seats if you know what i mean so we have to grab like whatever we can um to be honest now as an adult i think of it and i'm like uh, i don't know if i like that idea so much because i try to prioritize my comfort if i'm not gonna be comfortable like i'll think twice about going somewhere i don't know maybe that's me just being a boring adult but if i was a teenager like i wouldn't have thought of it like twice um but we ended up getting but we ended up getting um that location in the concert because my sister was the one who got her first ticket first and then when i knew of it when she told me she got those i was like well i am already planning a trip to colombia to visit my family after like what three years without seeing them and um, let's just plan around that concert and other concerts that I went to already too. Um, so yeah, that's that. But my first idea when this, when I was thinking about like coming here to Colombia, was just show up as a surprise for everyone, which will be, which will have been like so exciting and so fun. I am going to finish getting ready because this will just like take forever. We are going to go and get. Um, breakfast and then from there like look for something for my sister so we can get her some food because she hasn't eaten yet and i just feel like pretty bad for her um and then i'll see you at the concert it's gonna be like maybe more than five hours making a line because they open the doors at i think five or six so yeah it's gonna suck i know it's not gonna be fun because it rains a lot in this city so we already have like plastic ponchos you know like stuff like that so we can cover up ourselves and then uh, a lot of umbrellas <laughs> so yeah i'll see you later guys bye so i'll be check for the concert this is it something pretty comfortable i have the bodysuit that i showed you underneath of it and i don't want to carry a jacket so that's why i have this because i am also covering this bad situation like my shoulders are so awful and peeling so yeah this is it I read here for these pants this sweater is all from um, Express uh, but you this Sara white sneakers from Adidas and that's it
played this one specific song. We saved this shit for you. And I'm not going to lie, the main reason that I feel like, I feel like we felt safe busting this song out here in South America is because we knew that your asses were going to sing this as loud as you possibly could. Good morning guys, so it is currently 4am, a little past 4, I just woke up um, and yeah I look a little different today because I have my natural curls and everything because today we are going to be swimming, we are going to this town that is a little close from the city, it's, I would say like an hour drive but it gets really really hot and it's so nice, we're going to this hotel and um, it also has like the pool area that you can just like pay for one day, spend the whole day there. It's called the other soul or sun or sunny day here. And that is something like really common that people do here when they don't really want to stay in a hotel for more than one day. Um, and it's just so fun. You can have just lunch there, enjoy the pool area, all of the amenities of the um, hotel that you're staying at and that's just so nice so that is exactly what I'm doing today I am going with my sister with one of my sisters You are on top of a jar of juice, you know. Uh, so I am here waiting for my Uber. It's taking its sweet time. Uh, it's probably like rush hour, that's why. So today it's, um, what is it? Um, Thursday, I have my head everywhere. <laughs> just because I've, I've been feeling like I've been lacking sleep, just because I've been going out so much almost every single day. Sometimes I even forget to grab the camera to start the vlog and everything. But today um, we are going to this karaoke place. It is a bar, it is so fun, it's, it is a restaurant as well. So we are going to have like a good time, you know, like singing. So yeah, I'll take you with me. I am meeting my niece and her friend after work and we are going out. Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay Cause baby I love you Why you tryna break us up? When I'm tryna build it up I wish I could make you stay Yes, you know why? Yes, you know why? Miss your body You know I can never get it 